All right, hello everyone. Uh, as you can see today, I have a device in front of the camera. At first glance, it just looks like a regular red wall cover plate, but there's quite a bit more to this device. This device is a sync module manufactured by System Sensor. The model of it is the MDL. Um, before I go too much further into it, I have a box for it right here. Uh, as you can see, Spectre Alert Sync Circuit Module, System Sensor Model MDL. Uh, if you see right here, uh, there is some features listed there on the box. Um, but yeah, the uh, purpose of this device right here is to externally synchronize Spectre Alert to wire horn strobe products, so that includes the Spectre Alert Classics the Advances, as well as the L-Series devices. What's interesting about this is that it can also act as a Code 3 generator module. So it can create a temporal Code 3 pulse internally. So, I'm going to flip it around. You'll notice that there, um, there seems like there's quite a bit of terminals on it, but it's not super complicated. Um, so you'll notice that there's two inputs for it, zone one and zone two on here. And there's a horn control input on here. And how this works is that you have your wiring going into the zone one terminals from your NAC from the panel. And then you can jump the horn inputs so that they're just jumpered straight in from the NAC. Um, and then on the output side, correlating with zone one input, you have output terminals and these go to your horn strokes, and they will be synchronized after that. Um, so that's like a basic overview of how it's wired. But you'll notice if we look down there, there's a jumper right under there. You can kind of see it. Well, yeah, you can kind of see it's like, uh, I get my finger in the camera, it's like right there. But there is a jumper to select whether it will act as a temporal coder or a sync module. You'll notice that if it's in the on position, it does the coded code three output. And if it's off, it will act as a regular sync module for spectral products. So yeah, uh, this is a pretty neat little module. Um, I really don't have too much more to say about it, but I'm gonna be making a little uh, setup. The first test that I'm gonna do with this module is going to be with three Spectre Alert series devices. I'm going to have a classic, a advanced, and an L series device wired together to this module, and I'm going to demonstrate all three of them being synced together in perfect sync. Um, and then the second demonstration, I'm going to have a system sensor mass horn strobe tied to this to demonstrate the code 3 functionality. So, I'll see you there. Take a quick jump cut to get this set up. All right, so I'm going to be uh, demonstrating this whole setup with the sync module here. Um, what I'm going to do is, um, you'll notice I have three separate system sensor horn strobes set up from the three modern generations that are syncable, all three Spectre Alert generations, if you will. Uh, on the far left, I have a classic Spectre Alert, a uh, P2430. Uh, in the middle, I just have a regular system sensor P2R Spectre Alert Advance. And on the far right, I have a P4RL uh, L-series horn strobe that is acting as a two-wire device. So I have it uh, jumped in there to tie the horn strobe together. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to demonstrate how this MDL module will sync all three of these devices together. And I'm also going to demonstrate a two-wire audible silence with this um, just by removing the horn control wire Right where my finger is, there's a jumper there. I'm just going to pull it out. So I got a BG-12 off camera. So here we go. Three, two, one. And you'll notice that I uh, 
pulled that wire out there, um, I basically removed the uh, horn control input on this. So now we have two wire audible silence, which I think is pretty interesting. So I am going to reset the pull station to turn these strobes off. Let's see, they stopped. So next what I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect this particular setup and I'm going to use this system sensor mass that I have off to the side and I'm going to demonstrate the code 3 functionality of this module. So I'll be right back with you. Alright, so now what I have here is I have a system sensor mass wired into the module and it, I'm going to be using it to demonstrate the code 3 functionality of this module. So what I did is that right here there is a jumper in here. Um, I changed it so that it's actually shorting the two pins in there and it switches it so that the MDL will act as a code 3 module which is a pretty unique feature that I don't think is on any other sync module that I know of at least. Um, so I'm going to be demonstrating that with the system sensor mass. Um, the strobe is going to flash kind of funny because it's wired in with the horn and it's going to be code, code 3 as well. Anyway, uh, enough chit-chat, let's uh, pull it. Here we go. So there we go. Uh, that is my overview of the System Sensor MDL sync module, as well as my practical demonstration. So, uh, thank you all for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and check out the links in the description. Thank you, and have a great day.